Hey guys, Namaste. Welcome to NG Beauty. My name is Neha and I am a makeup and skincare enthusiast. On my channel, you would see me doing makeup, but besides that, I also do skincare videos where I talk about what's in your product and why and how they work. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're updated every single time I post. And for now, let's begin with this soft, dewy, everyday makeup look. Hey, so first thing first, I just finished my cleansing with my favorite Cetaphil cleanser for sensitive skin and after that I did my skincare routine and last step was my sunscreen which is Cetaphil Sun SPF 50 plus liposomal lotion. So now that my skin is prepped, I'm going straight into my makeup and the first thing that I would do foundation I mostly use is a mix of my Maybelline 24 hour super stay foundation and my NYX total control total drop foundation I'm just going to take one drop of my Maybelline foundation and maybe two drops of NYX total control total drop foundation maybe three yeah I think maybe three would work and then just mix it well and then start applying it on my face all over for a regular day i don't do really any color correcting or you know any primers And I'll take a damp beauty blender and just start blending it. One thing with my Cetaphil sunscreen is that it really, because it is slightly sticky, it does create a very nice base for my foundation to sit on. So I did not put foundation onto my lids because I would always do a little, very little eye makeup so I need primer. And as always, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer just a tiny bit on both eyes and I will just blend it with my fingers. After this, I'm going into my concealer. Now this one I use mostly as a color corrector because this does have that peachy undertone and this is NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade Golden Honey. I'll use it just a tiny bit. So I do have like slightly deep set eyes in the inner corner so I will just put it slightly there and a little bit here and very little into and just under my eyes and I'm going to use the same beauty blender and try to be very precise just using the tip of it and yes I'll go with it I'm going to use this concealer from Maybelline. This is a cream concealer and it says Brighten Creamy Brightening Creamy Concealer. It's in the shade 50 medium deep. Well, I will just use it under my eyes and just take it under yeah and slightly one more thing I would like to do is I'll just take the same concealer and just do it around my mouth. After this, I'm going to set my foundation uh, with Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder T. 
taking it slightly, tap off any excess and starting with my eyes. I'm just, I'm just putting it in the areas where I tend to get shiny. Okay, after I'm done with this, usually I go ahead and do my brows. So I will just do that off camera and be back. So I'm back with my eyebrows done and yes, I'll start with my eye makeup and I want to keep it really easy and simple and also not very heavy. So I always, always, if it's my everyday thing, I would go with my this powder it's actually a setting powder that i got online in a wrong shade but i use it for my lids and it works beautifully so i'm going to take this brush from zoeva this is 228 lux crease it's taking tiny bit tap it off and then just swipe it over all across my lids I'm going to take the same shade but with a smudge brush and I will just uh, put it under my eyes. So yes, that's mostly for the eyes, but that's not done yet. I will come back to my eyes, but before that, I want to finish my contouring and blush. For my contour, I would use my Hula Bronzer here, which is apt for daily use because this is just the right shade. So I'll take just very little, tap off any excess. Stick it under my jawline. A little bit onto my hairline so my foundation doesn't look like a um, really harsh. like a very light contouring so I go ahead and use my blush from Tarte in the shade blissful and I go with my stippling brush and now this is like really light so I have to swirl it light well yes and then just go ahead tap it on A little bit onto my chin and a little bit onto my forehead. Now I'm going to use another bronzer. Now this one is from Many So it's broken already. So this one is flawless three color bronzer. How I use it is take my brush and then just tap it very lightly because it's all broken and just tap, it, tap off any excess and then just make like a three like this onto my where are you know the high points of my face 
Now this does work as a highlighter because this has a very beautiful sheen to it. Yeah, and I will put this little bit onto my forehead just to add a bit of a shine. This has very light color. So and once I'm done with this, then I will take my Zoeva highlighter. Now this one is something like additional. If I have some extra time, then I would go ahead and do this. So this is like a liquid, uh, like a mousse sort of a highlighter. And the shade number and the shade number and name is linked in the description below. So I just take very lightly, just this much is okay and then i'll just put it in the center of my eye and then just blend it if i feel that it's becoming like a little too much then i'll just go ahead with a clean finger and just go over it with the same motion so it doesn't come out as you know like a lot of product so my eyes are mostly done and I will just do my mascara right now Now I will let this dry and once this is dried, I will use my smudge brush to remove any excess that might have spilled on my lids. Meanwhile, it's drying up, I will do my lips and I'm going to use a waterproof prestige, whatever. I'll link the description below. Uh, just a nude lip color because I don't want to go really heavy on a regular day. For a shade which is in the shade 23 cream lip stain and I'm just going to fill it in this is really nice for an everyday use for like Indian dusky sort of skin tone And on top of this, I'm going to put another nude shade. Uh, I will link the description below. And once I'm done with all of this, I'll just set my makeup with a setting spray. Here I'm using Max Prep and Prime. Uh, this is the, I think the original version of it. And I'm just going to spray it all over. Now I will just go do my hair, wear some jewelry and be back. So that was the whole nude makeup tutorial. So let me know if you have any feedback and suggestions. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, stay tuned, stay beautiful.